Okay, we've retained another integral. This one's from the MIT integration meet from 2024, semifinals, tiebreaker number one. We have the integral of secant of the fifth x dx. Okay, I'm not sure if I've done this one before, but it's very similar to when you integrate secant cubed x. And in fact, what we're gonna wanna do is I think we're gonna wanna use that value first. We could do the formula for it, but let's actually just do, let's actually just integrate secant cubed x first. So doing this, I'm gonna use integration by parts on it. We'll use the DI method or tabular integration over here to the right. Just noticing we can split up. We can split this up a few different ways. We can split it up like secant times secant squared. We can actually split this up a lot of different ways, but I think what I want to do is let's integrate secant squared x because that's going to be easy to integrate, and then we can differentiate secant x. Then first what we'll do is let's differentiate secant x. That's going to be secant x times tangent x. And then integrating secant squared x, that's just going to be tan x. So then we have part of our solution of this on the diagonal. It's just going to be secant x times tan x. And then here, this is going to be an integral, all this stuff right here. But putting this together, that's going to be a tan squared. What I want to do is rewrite this all in terms of secant. So like we have this identity for tan squared. We have this identity that tan squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. So I can just rearrange this, subtracting 1 on both sides. So then we have a value for tan squared x, which is just secant squared x minus one. So putting this together, if we have secant x times secant squared x minus one, let's just distribute this in here. And then what we end up with is we're gonna have secant cubed x minus secant x. So then let's take this, and again, we need to distribute in this minus sign. When we do that, we're gonna have minus here. Here, this is gonna become a plus. So then what we're gonna have is this is gonna be plus Integral, we'll go out of order, we'll have this integral of secant x that we need to find. And then here, we're gonna have minus secant cubed x, but that's the same thing as our goal. We can just kind of put a label on this i. So then integrating here, if we're integrating minus secant cubed x, if we're integrating secant cubed x again here, I'm just gonna call this minus i. So then let's add an i on both sides. If we add an i on here, the left side, we can call this 2i. That's gonna get rid of this. And then let's just get our value for secant x. For that, I'm gonna use a formula. So we're gonna say 2i equals secant x times tan x. And then integral here of secant x, that's just gonna be natural log absolute value secant x plus tan x. But then to isolate i, we can just divide by two on both sides, divide by two everywhere over here. So this is gonna be half secant x times tan x. And then here we're gonna have one half of natural log secant x plus tan x. Sorry, I run out, a little bit, run out of room over there. And so now we can get back to our goal, secant to the fifth x, but what I wanna do is kind of box this and bring this onto the next board so we can use this when we integrate secant to the fifth x. Okay, so now that we have our value for the integral of secant cubed x, we'll bring that back in a minute, but what we wanna do now is do the same kind of thing, integrating secant to the fifth x, just using the DI method over here to the right. And we're gonna do something really similar where I'm gonna use, again, secant squared x because that's going to be easy to integrate and then what's left is just going to be secant cubed x just noticing secant squared x times secant cubed x gives us back secant to the fifth x so then first let's get a derivative of secant cubed x but let's kind of come over here just because there's going to be some chain rule involved so for secant cubed x first we're going to do power rule on this we're going to have three secant squared x and then we're gonna need chain rule on secant, which is just gonna be another secant x times tan x. So putting that all together, this is gonna be three, multiplying these together, we're gonna to have secant cubed x times tan x. And let's take that and put it back into our table. Okay, now from here we integrate secant squared x, same as what we did on the previous board, and that's just gonna be tan x. We'll part of our solution here on the diagonal, but I will create another label on this. Here we already used i, so we'll call this j. So for our j value, first we're gonna have tan x secant cubed x. And then we have this integral, but let's try to simplify it again the same way we did last time. This is gonna be tan squared, but for tan squared, we're gonna use secant squared minus one. Then we'll distribute all this stuff in here. So first we're gonna have minus three secant cubed times secant squared, it's gonna be secant to the fifth x. And then this part times minus one is just gonna be a plus three secant cubed x. But now again, this is all an integral. And so here we have the same thing we have here, our j. So this piece right here, this is gonna be our minus three j value. 
and this integral here, three secant cubed x, that's gonna be the value we found on the previous board. So that's gonna be plus three, that i value, that i value from the previous board. So putting this back over here, we're gonna have this plus three i minus three j. And then let's, our goal is gonna be j. So let's add a three j on both sides here, right? So then that way this is gonna cancel. On the left side, we're gonna have four j plus all this stuff. Then let's just divide by four on both sides just so that we can isolate this j value. And now to finish it, we've just brought back our i value, the integral of secant cubed from the previous board. And the only thing we need to remember here is we're multiplying by three fourths. So we actually want, we want three fourths of this and we just want three fourths everywhere over here. So let's see if we can put together the final solution of this. So first we'll just copy down this first part, 10 x, secant cubed x over four. This is gonna be a pretty long solution. And then here for this part, when we multiply them, we're gonna end up with three over eight, secant x times tan x. And then here again, we're gonna have three over eight. I guess I could have factored it out, but whatever. So we'll have this as three eighths, secant x plus tan x, add a plus c on there, and that's it. Okay, there you have it, integral of secant to the fifth. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.